talk about that, that whole dynamic of, there are a lot of tech geeks, a new generation of you know, MIT, you know, tech weenies, Berkeley, Stanford, Harvard, a lot of math, a lot of computer science. What's the thing that attracts the alpha geeks on this whole area? I mean, that, I mean it's going mainstream now, so there's obvious reasons now. But back then, when you're doing all this, what was that one thing? Was it because you can solve hard problems? It was fun to play with? What was the kind of thing that got you going? Yeah, that's a that's a really interesting question. I mean, I, I think uh, um, so I got into database systems actually when I was an undergraduate still. Uh, and you know, to speak personally, I just found the research very interesting. So, I mean, ultimately, you know, it's, it's sort of very clear that data is becoming sort of the center of the world, right? So, you know, ultimately, you know, any sort of IT organization, um, you know, it, it, it's it's really around like how sort of how do you store and how do you process your data. Um, so, you know, if you control the data, you really control the company. You control the business sides of things. You really you it's it's uh, you really sort of are in the center of everything. So. Uh, so you know, so therefore, you know, <laughs> it became natural to actually want to focus some research on, on database systems. So you know, I started as an undergraduate, um, and then eventually went to MIT to work with Stonebreaker and Madden, and uh, and then from there, you know, things just sort of, you know, a lot of these concepts are like combination of math, autonomous theory. So it's a little bit of a blend of CS and math, right? Yeah, it's true. It's yeah, I mean, certainly. Uh, I mean, historically, databases, you know, have, have a very good uh, theory foundation. Um, so you know, from the time of Ted Codd with the relational model. Um, you know, that, I mean, that was a theory paper, uh, but you know, but but one thing certainly, uh, and I think to, to go back to Peter's question, what really attracts alpha geeks is that, you know, yes, there's a bunch of theory, but you can also build something. You know, I mean, you know, as part of my PhD, you know, I, I got to be involved in building three systems that actually all three were released open source, um, and all three were used, you know, uh, you know, to some extent either by other researchers or by the industry before they were commercialized. Uh, and so I think that's, uh, you know, I, I think the opportunity to build real systems uh, is, is is very attractive to you know to to sort of a, a young student, you know, like, like, like myself, who's sort of thinking about what he wants to do, you know, I mean, I, it's, it's nice to think about, nice to write theory papers, but ultimately, you really actually want to build something. Well, and then small. you add demand for these systems, these new systems, and right. you have a market. Right. Now you got a ton of venture capital pouring in. Right. I mean, it's pretty pretty awesome, right? Yeah. I mean, I'll be honest, I had no idea the level of sort of the, the, the size of the market when I was, uh, you know, you thinking did. about going into a PhD program. I, you know, I, mean, I thought it was interesting, I thought it was pretty cool, but I didn't know it would be this, I didn't know it was, you know, a multi billion dollar industry. Um, and I didn't even know what multi billion dollar industry meant actually <laughs> um, so you yeah, know yeah, yeah. Uh, um, so but you know you uh, over time it's good you to have the blinders on you know <laughs> from the whole outside influence right you absolutely know, the claws of my you know capitalism yeah. you know, building <laughs> just go out and build some good stuff that's right, right. I mean, that's right